uh, I'm going to Muzi. They're like, what is Muzi now? People are going to Vets. People are going to UCT. Why no sugar MZ? No funa go ya Umuzi. Why ya Umuzi? Um, Umuzi yeah. is like an institution um, that um, pretty much helps um, the youth become job ready, okay. right? So um, I'll, I'll explain from a, a tech perspective, actually, yeah. right? So they would take on a, a group of um, young people who know or don't know how to code. It's not a prerequisite, right? So it's just like your willingness to learn. So young, hungry people. And they train them, and then they put them in jobs, effectively, right? So they're trying to bridge the gap between um, um, the corporates that want people with experience and the youth that has no experience, right? Sure, sure. So they're trying to bridge, like, what you would find in a computer science course, you know, of, like, four years, and then they would, like, squeeze it into, like, nine months. Because it's actually a boot camp. You know, if like you've ever heard of like these boot camps that like you know um um, um people go to to learn a particular skill. So I went to um <clears throat> one such boot camp called Umozi. Um, I applied for for data science, right? Um, I I actually applied twice. I got rejected once, and on my second attempt, I got accepted, and that's where I had um to learn how to properly work with teams of people. You know, because um, tech in isolation is just like a tool, you know. If you've got a hammer, um, it's just a tool. Um, but then once you know that, like, you know, I want to, you know, create, um, you know, furniture, what type of furniture and all that, like, that's where now the, the rest of the team comes in, like, you know, and, like, that's where you then, you know, get to um, build valuable things for the world and not just tech for the sake of tech. So, yeah, I, I went to this institution called Muzi. Nine months later, uh, I, I, I got placement, you know, um, at a company in um, Weinberg, Santon, um, to do data science. I worked there for three months. Is it Weinberg, Santon, or Weinberg, Alex? Hey, ha, ha, ha. it's actually in between. Okay. Yeah, it's in between. Yeah. It's walking distance from either or. So, oh, okay. yeah. Because I get a lot of people who actually stay in Alex. They'll be like, nah, because, you know, it says a sentence on the address. It's sentence. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just separated by a line. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So, yeah, now I was in Weinberg and then I was working for this um, firm, right? So, they had an online store and a retail premises. So, I was like, on the like digital side of things so i was like you know helping to scrape data so scraping data is pretty much my job there was to like collect data from the internet right so you can imagine i'm so there are hundreds of websites that one needs to collect data from right and you can imagine the thousands and thousands of pages um from suppliers um that i need to you know, collect all the product related data and put it in a spreadsheet and like upload it to like the website and say that we are selling like one, two, three. It, when I got, like it was just taking too long. So luckily, cause I, I mean, I was hired as like a data scientist. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me just jump onto this side. Cause like, I mean, I could, I could do analytics, but like there was the, like a real problem at that side. I was, I'm, I'm, I'm a problem solver. Yeah. So I got there and then now I was building scripts scripts as in like programs to just um go around the internet um on specific websites get there and collect data right so that they are called crawlers right yeah, or sure. like you can imagine spiders just crawling around you know websites collecting you know data and all that and like you know instead of a human doing that they would do that on their own and like you know um output you know excel sheets and all that so that was my first experience um into like you know uh the real world you know uh, after almost so when i was there i, I kind of realized that damn maybe one could actually do software development <clears throat> you know because i mean data science is, is, is one thing i mean it's 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 kind of fascinating but then you don't have the power to do stuff at will you don't if you don't have data you can't do yeah. much like because it's data science requires data right so you have like a cold start problem cold start meaning like you know you have prerequisites if you don't have those prerequisites like you kind of like screwed so for me i was like okay cool now 
maybe I could try software development, right? So I <clears throat> I left the job uh, and then I spent about three months just like, you know, upskilling myself in software development. Um, so was this uh, three months sponsored by anyone? No, no, no. This was me at home. So I saved up money from my job so I could actually go on a sabbatical. Cause could, <laughs> right. So I, I went back home. I went back home to Polokwane. Uh, I took some time off just like being on the internet and learning. Uh, and then I, 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 I got the opportunity uh, presented by Umozi um, to actually now go do software development um, with, with Telcom. So yeah, yeah, so I, I, I went there um, and like I was just a junior for two years and I was building some really cool software um, at, 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 at like Telcom, um, which was actually quite amazing because I now, you know, got to create real world products mm, and now yeah. you're at telecom you're thinking i made it yeah yeah no, no i mean i could tell my family that like yeah no yeah seven no guess pan and no uh yeah and like my family was like really happy yeah you know how like they were like initially it's kind of like uh i'm going to music like what is umuzi now people are going to vets people are going to uct why no sugar MZ? No funa go ya umuzi. Funa go umuzi. Why chief? You know, so 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 it was like actually like um a a relief for my family. That's why like they like they they say bro they like this guy's onto something. <laughs> you know, so 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 now obviously now the cheese is also bumped up. Yeah. You know now I can cheese attend family gatherings. Good. Now I can attend family gatherings because you know, like in, in within the black community, every time you go to your family gatherings, no, I know better than that. And it's like I, before I couldn't. I was like, haki you know. But now I'm like, I am with telecom now, you know. So it's like, oh yeah, telecom. Like that's yeah. that's 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 something reputable. That's a reputable company. So that's where now I got a lot of my uh, experience within the industry. I met a lot of people. Um, and I got to engage uh, and learn, learn a lot of other, um, you know, tech stacks or like, yeah, technologies and all that. Um, and after two years, I decided to like move on to something, um, something else.